Hi there and welcome back to It's Only Paper. I'm Lisa and today I'm going to be continuing on in my Christmas journal. I know it's after Christmas but I really want to get this done but the thing that I'm going to be focusing on today which I hope will be useful and fun for you all is to upcycle, recycle bits and pieces left over from Christmas. So we're going to be doing lots of that today. I used an envelope and Christmas card on my last page also made a little pocket and um, used a tag from something as well so I'll leave the link to that video below because that may be helpful to you today um, we're also going to go on to the next page so I'm still using part of the envelope from last time and I just want to use up some bits and pieces that I've kept anybody else kept loads of bits thinking I'm going to use that in my journal I have a whole stash of things on the side here actually I'll show you quickly if you're familiar with my studio vlogs, you may actually recognise this area. And this is where I keep bits and pieces when I think, oh yeah, I'll use that in my journal. I've got like business cards, coasters, postcards, menus. Um, am I really, am I really going to use that one day? I don't know. Um, you name it. It's it's here and this is all things I think yeah I'm gonna use that this is kind of like my Christmas pile and um, yeah I do I mean look, there's some Primark packaging so we're gonna use some of that today look I've even got a leaf here from um, Disneyland Paris you name it I think it's in amongst this little lot somehow I think that's exactly what the term means when it says an organized mess I know where things are but it to others it may look messy, to me it just looks really exciting and inspiring. So I have pulled out Christmas cards. I have pulled out tags from like clothing. I've got some packaging here, got a bit of ribbon on there that I could use. I love this. It was a candle from my friend Lisa from the White Company. Far too pretty to put in the bin, so I'll be using that. Gift wrap, gift wrap's really handy. Um, got a tag here that Louis took off a t-shirt yesterday I've got a gift tag here I stole these I didn't steal them they're actually my sisters and mine so it's not technically stealing is it they were going to go in the bin from my mum so I thought they would be quite nice um Christmas cards um envelopes I've got receipts all the goody things oh I tell you what else I took um the little notes that you can pick up in Ikea I need to do an Ikea page so that's what we're going to be doing today so grab all your bits and pieces that you've been hoarding over Christmas and let's have some fun creating so I really really hope you'll enjoy this page today and I hope it leaves you feeling very inspired right I am going to go on to Boxing Day we did Christmas Day last day last time so let's do Boxing Day today um, I didn't take as many photos as I'd hoped. Um, I've also mentioned before about my daughter not really wanting to be in photos. It makes me very, very conscious when I'm taking them. And I've ended up feeling quite sad that I don't really have any of her. But it also then stops me from taking photos of the rest of the family. And the rest of the family are very poor at taking photos. They rely upon us. And so we don't really have any. And I'm really sad about that, actually. Um, I think it's important to have photos. I really do. And I know the kids like looking back on them, but we're not going to dwell on that because I've spoken about that before. But I am sad that I've hardly got any um, of the family over Christmas. So we will instead make the most of what we have got. I've got a really funny one here. <laughs> Oh, my mum's going to love this. Mum in hot pants and a Hooters t-shirt. There's a story to go with that. I will tell that story in a moment. And then we've got a picture of my brother and James, his partner, and Holly holding my brother's new snake, Helga. There's a story behind that as well, so I will share that in a moment. Right, let's do this page. So I am reusing this envelope. On this side, it's like this. I want it to go onto this side. Um, because I want it kept as a pocket like that. So I'm actually wondering about using this side as a pocket as well. What we could do is cover this because the white just doesn't quite go at the moment. Let's get some paper on that to cover. And I'm thinking a pocket would be quite cute. 
um that could maybe go on there i'm also wanting to use the lovely isabel's card i might even pop that on there or maybe actually i'm going to pop that on that side i love the card so much that she's made and i knew instantly that it was going to appear in my journal it was one of those that was just far too beautiful to leave on the side or just put with my usual stash i wanted to use it it's beautiful um i'm actually wondering I would really like to use this. Let's open this up. I think that's a good idea. Um, how are you doing with your journals? There's not actually a seam on here. Let's do it down here rather than cutting in the middle. Have you got much to do? Um, I think it was Elise that left some photos in our Facebook chat group. And she did hers in two sittings isn't that cool and it's amazing see so it doesn't have to be something that takes you days and days and days um i love it when people share what they've been doing i really do oh look how cool this is i wanted to use the ribbon let's take that out we've got a little bit of a brick wall i like that so let's cut off the bits there I was wondering, no, I'm not going to put that on there. I do quite like the idea of it down here. That could be quite nice as a pocket. I still need to decide though what I'm going to use on this side. A decision has been made. Something else I'm reusing. Emma kindly sent some really, really cute happy mail and I kept all the packaging. Um, it's so sweet. And so I did wonder about that one, but I think I'm wanting some extra color. So I am going to pop that on here. That still looks cute on there. I'm going to keep the twine on because I love that. But this also enables me to add um, tags and all sorts. So I'm excited about using that. Let's pop some double-sided tape down. find my favorite scissors I'm not quite sure where they've gone so let's take this up like this but let me know what kind of things have you kept over Christmas to use on or in your journals that goes really well I'm liking that a lot I am going to cut that little bit down we don't need that little bit and that's really nice because then you can see the bit underneath. Uh, I do like that kind of thing when you can see a little bit from the previous page underneath. That goes perfectly. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Emma. You have contributed marvelously to my page today. Right. So let's get on with some storytelling. So my mum and the Hooters t-shirt. Basically, we did a secret Santa. We didn't do gifts in our family this year. Instead, I teamed everyone up. Everyone had a secret Santa partner and we had five pounds to spend on each other and it had to be something fun. And um, we haven't got to the vlogs yet, the Disney vlogs. Um, if you're interested, I do, or we, I should say, Ada and I, my husband and I, we do have a another channel where we share our trips and um, we are currently <laughs> editing our Orlando series and uh, oh that works so well and so oh actually do you know that will go in there perfectly right I'm going to need to do something with that sticky though because I might go and grab some flour in a minute and that will cover that but that will go really well and Let's pop that on there. Um, yeah, so, sorry, I'm getting easily distracted here. Let's just cover the back of this. This was from a sweatshirt. Aidan and I bought a sweatshirt each. Um, Christmas sweatshirts. Let's cover that up with that. Um, right, um, yeah, the Hooters. So, my brother-in-law has always wanted to go to Hooters. He's never made it there. So, we thought it would be really fun. We are big into wings in the family. And um, I've been told they are the best wings. So we went one evening. My mum really wasn't keen on going. 
Um, she ended up coming. She could. She didn't have to come with us. There were plenty of other options. Um, so her and her husband could have gone somewhere else. But no, they came with us. But she really wasn't keen. Um, but it became a little bit of a joke. Although my mum is a massive prude. Um, she's always been one to flaunt what she's got. Let's just put it that way. Um, and I put it down to growing up in Germany. But her and my dad, they used to go to like the naked saunas and all that kind of thing. So yeah, she's far from a prude with that kind of thing. So she's always liked a tighter top and always liked to show a bit of cleavage. So I thought, I had my mum by the way for the Secret Santa. I thought um, that Hooters t-shirt was perfect and she loved it. And then I didn't know as a joke that her and my sister had planned on um, my mum bringing her little tiny, tiny shorts that she wore in the villa that Ada, my brother-in-law, really didn't appreciate. <laughs> um, she bought them to my brothers for Boxing Day and she was going to play a trick on the boys. And so she disappeared. And then my sister had, you know, the song Milkshake Brings All the Boys to the Yard. My sister played that really loud. And then my mum came dancing in in her hot pants and her Hooters t-shirt. Um, so it was very funny. So we've got some very funny videos. The boys didn't find it quite so funny, especially when she sat on their laps. Um, oh, I'm pleased with that. So yeah, we really enjoyed that. That was really funny. Um, I'm going to, let's pop a border on here. And then I want to, I can do some journaling on the back of the tag. So this day is all about Boxing Day. We also played um, my game. Again, I featured that in my vlogs. I'll leave a link to my vlogging channel as well. So I'll leave a link to my vlogging channel and our sort of trip, um, travel channel. Um, I made a family version of Cards Against Humanity and I called it um, Cards Against Our Family. Will that go on there? Hmm. I'm going to pop that on there, I think. And um, we had so much fun. Um, if you're familiar with the game, if you're not familiar with the game, I should say, um, you have, it's quite a rude game. Um, we had a 14 year old in the family, so I didn't make it obviously too rude. Um, enough so it wasn't embarrassing for her to play but um we then I like that I'm really pleased with that um I've got to decide what to do on here I'm thinking also I might add that on here yes let's do that um and you start with the whole group start with a sentence so it could be something like we found our AIDS secret the secret is and then everybody has we had 10 cards each and you have to finish the sentence so it's very it's, it's a very silly game but it's so much fun um, I'm going to use some, I've got some tape here that Lindsay sent me. So I'm going to use this washi tape because I've torn the edge there a little bit, but tidy that up. And we just laughed so much. It was so much fun. And I ended up writing out over 400 cards. <laughs> I did um, eight packs in total of um, cards, playing cards. It was just so much fun. We It's something that Aidan and I have started doing the last few years. Oh, Let's see if I can do this tidier. We make a family game every year for the family to play. Uh, we have so much fun. We get these ideas and then we can't go to sleep once we've had them because we're both just so excited. <laughs> I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm going to leave that like that, I think. That looks really cool. Thank you, Lindsay. You've come to the rescue. I might pop that there. I'm not sure. Yeah, that would work, actually. That little piece of washi. I've reused that. Isn't it a satisfying feeling when you can reuse something? There, I'm pleased with that. So the other thing I wanted to do, I used 
the hats on here I love how that's created a pocket and I'm actually thinking about doing the same again down here and reusing this card um, I might do the blues let's just pop it on here um, another way to use cards which is really good is to um, obviously use like circle punches and things like that and do um, gift cards um, not gift cards like um, gift tags for next year you could do that I'm just going to use a rounded punch here corner punch that's a really good way I'd love to hear how you reuse your Christmas cards do you keep them reused look how cute you can't bin something like that it's just far too cute so um, it's always fun when you can reuse something there we go but it's just such a shame to waste them isn't it oh big shout out to Elaine as well your Christmas card has come and it's beautiful thank you um, so many of you have sent me such beautiful cards. Thank you so much. Um, big shout out to Philippa. I have decided this one is far too nice. I did think about actually tearing the design off to use in my journal. It's so beautiful. But instead, I am going to... I've got an Ikea frame that I bought the other day. I've got an Ikea video coming up on my channel, actually. On my vlogging channel next week. Um... Philippa, this card is so beautiful. This is so typical me. I cannot focus on one thing. I'm. This is me every single day. I just flip from one thing to the next. It's so bad. Um, let's just take the top of this off. I, um, I just thought this frame was just so... I just love the colour. It's my favourite colour. And um, I want to frame Philippa's card. Actually, do you know, I don't even know if I want the plastic behind. The whole love of this card is the texture. Yep, I'm going to keep the texture. And then, every Christmas, this can come out as one of my decorations. And I love that it says, handmade, especially by you. No, <laughs> handmade, especially for you, by Philippa. Thank you, Philippa. It's perfect. Look, isn't that nice? You always feel, or I always feel, and I'm sure you all do as well, very um, protective of handmade cards. Because we're all creatives ourselves, you know how much time that goes into them and how special they are. Look, that is so beautiful. That is going to go on my shelf every Christmas now. And it's got the red car, and the red car is something that's very special to my friends and I. Um, it's something that we buy each other things of. And um, she said as well that it reminded her of when we went and bought our Christmas tree. I thought that was so sweet. It wasn't on the roof of our car, by the way. It was in the back. But um, thank you, Philippa. That card is going to be um, seen every year now. It was just far too nice again to pop away. So um, I'm reusing that one by turning it into a frame. Let me know if you've got any that are so special that you've wanted to keep or use in a different kind of way that you just couldn't bear to hide away or cut up. Um, especially when you know that so much work's gone into a card as well. So I am loving that and they're just my colours. It's so beautiful. I don't even want to hide it away at Christmas actually. I want it out on display all year round. It's so nice. Right, we've got a little pocket there perfect I like that I might use that I don't know it doesn't quite go but I quite like it we'll see how that goes um right so I now need to do my journaling for boxing day I would quite like to add something there ah the photo of mum that's what I will do yeah let's pop mum onto a little bit of a border and the reason I forgot to say I love this photo so much my um, brother-in-law edited this and sent it to us all so that was mum at the start of the evening and that was her at the end of the evening and it, this isn't the reason why she was just messing around but my brother my brother-in-law put before wine after wine <laughs> I love that that tickled me um, so that's gone on there 
Do you know, this has all been since Florida. She's just completely lightened up and she's having fun. It's just so nice to see. It's just made us all so happy. So I'm now ready to go away and journal Boxing Day. I've just remembered as well, I've got a Boxing Day sticker here from one of my previous um, sticker sheets there. Enjoy Boxing Day found these stickers as well from last year as well these are perfect actually let's have family time at the top there and I'm going to journal on the back of the tag so that's boxing day covered we have got the journaling there about mum and her t-shirt and then we've got some more journaling that side and then I want to go on to um the 28th when we went to Ikea and met my sister there um, and her kids so oh this was funny as well I've got a funny story to tell here so uh, yeah we vlogged this as well it was really funny um, oh hold on let me just grab some actually use this paper here so we were going around Ikea and um, my sister had three of the smallest items in her trolley that you could possibly find in Ikea she had a potato peeler an apple corer and um, a lemon squeezer you know the little ones that you just squeeze in and Aid kept putting more and more stuff in her trolley it was completely loaded up look she had a a seat cushion she had a pair of curtains she had a great big sink drainer uh, what else did he put in there a stuffed turtle oh, sorry I'm not looking a stuffed turtle it was just at one point really high and she didn't notice and she just kept walking around and I would say oh my gosh look how they've displayed those towels that looks so nice and she would look up and then Aid would pop something else in the trolley and it went on for ages before she noticed and she only noticed because we were laughing so much and um, obviously Aid then had to um, go back and put everything back it was really funny right I am thinking this is what I wanted to use the Ikea um, little list so you can pick these up in the entrance of Ikea when you go in let's trim this down and use I saw it and I thought yes perfect for journaling so we're going to trim that down and then I can tell the Ikea story we had such a lovely day we didn't want to be apart we were going to get food in Ikea but the queue was almost to the end of the dining hall it was crazy um yay I can use that both sides and um just wondering where to put the photo we could do that or the photo could go underneath I quite I quite like the thought of the photo being on display that could then pull out oh I like that idea let's do that um yeah so yeah and then so we ended up next door at McDonald's uh, we spent ages in there we did this last time we went with them as well because we didn't want to go home and all be apart we had our dinner our lunch then we got um after that we had got all hot drinks so we sat around with those and then we ended up in um let's do that then we ended up in um Sainsbury's and we had a wander there as well there so if I pop that like that, that works out perfectly, doesn't it? I like that. So yeah, we just didn't want to be apart. We didn't want to go home. But um, I Ikea in Reading is such a perfect meeting point for us all. It's just over half an hour for my sister and it's half an hour for us. So it's a really good meeting point there. I like that that works really well I also thought I've got this from Ali a Christmas card I really love this well, I hope this isn't disrespectful what I'm doing it's just so nice and then what I do is I keep the actual card with the writing on but I thought about it and I really I could I could pop that on there 
but I did even think about having it on another page as well. I haven't decided where though. I'm so pleased with this journal. I still need to do my big photo actually. Where was that page? I can't remember. I've got a space there. Actually, that goes really well on there. Let's reuse that. It was just too nice again not to use. I love that. Perfect for my Christmas journal. There we go. There, that goes really well. It hides those staples nicely, doesn't it? And what did I say about me flitting from one thing to the next? I'm so bad. Right. So let's go back to this page. So this is perfect. I want something to be able to put um, Ikea. Um, it needs to be yellow, really, doesn't it? Yellow and blue. Let's see. Um, I've got here. Let's do this. Let's cut that out. This was from the January kit. Let's use this and I might go and get some stickers as well, some alphabet stickers. Perfect. And then we can have Ikea on there. And I was thinking about the notes as well. Might trim that down slightly. This little one here. And actually, let's pop that over here. I don't actually know what I'm going to use it for. But I like it. Um, let's see about. Yeah, I like that. That's so cute. Um, yeah, let's get some journaling and some yellow alphabet stickers. There we go. I've got these Poundland ones. Is there anybody here that doesn't like IKEA? Let me know. I'd imagine if you're not one to like shopping, then it would be your nightmare. Um, it was busy on this day, but as we were, to be honest, although it was busy, it was manageable. Um, the restaurant was not manageable, but then we obviously avoided that. But we tend to go usually, I've done this really lopsided. Let's see if I can take these off. Um, and I think I'm going to add some extra glue on these. They're not quite sticky enough. And under normal circumstances, when we go with my brother and brother-in-law, we do like double date nights and we meet up with them. And we go in the evening when it's nice and quiet during the week. Makes a huge difference. And we still usually end up at McDonald's next door. There we go. Ikea. I think it makes for a fun date night. There, perfect. I am now ready to journal this little bit here so i have got my ikea stories there in a flippy out bit i am thinking i might add the little um christmas pudding on there from the christmas card i think that will look super cute and fills that space i was going to add the tag here i have however changed my mind and I'm going to pop in a couple of receipts from the day, like that. I've also got the little, I kept this from McDonald's as well. So I would like to include those. Um, so that's quite cool. I'm pleased with that. And I think that's another day that's journaled. I'm pleased with that. The other thing I wanted to do before I finish up, I'm obviously going to use that page on something else. I would like to include Isabel's card there. That is something I'd like to add to my journal as I have still got a few more days to add. Uh, I've just realised I've put the wrong date. I've put the 28th. It was actually the 29th. There we go. Um, so yeah, I've got a few more days to add, but I'm really pleased. I have got um, a lot added. Um, I'll use the tags another time. I'm not going to use those today. I'll use the gift wrap another time as well. I was looking forward to using that. That's so cute. But I'm pleased. I have today used a gift tag. 
I've used the ribbon from some packaging. I will also use that um, packaging another time as well. I've obviously used an envelope. I've used the Ikea thingy. I've used um, Christmas cards. I've used some um, a bag that was sent to me in the post as packaging. And I've reused the receipts as well and another Christmas card there. So I think I have done pretty well. I'm pleased with that. And... Um, Oh, and I reused this as well, didn't I? I've done really well. And I've told two whole stories in my journal as well. So um, look, it's looking so cool. I am so pleased with this. I'm having so, so much fun. I'm really glad that I put the fabric around it as well. I think I need to do that um, in my journals because I am a bulky journal. the journaler. They do tend to bulk out. But for me, that's um, a big part of the fun. I've just realised I'm chatting with a bit of tape on my hand. I hope you've enjoyed this journal and chat with me. Uh, oh, look how cute that looks. And um, I would love to hear from you an update on how your journals are doing, how your storytelling's going. Please, please, please leave a comment and let me know below. Thank you so much. I'm off to do a Zoom with my Patreon community. Um, I'll leave a link to that down below. We are talking today new journals for 2023 and word of the year that's what we're going to be doing and i'm going to be doing a whole word of the year video for my patreon community as well um next week so if you're interested in that the link is below and i will catch up with you very very soon take care <laughs>